guys, welcome back to Uber Eats Hustle. It is Friday. Uh, I'm actually not working today because yesterday when I was out making deliveries, I sustained an injury to my left foot. Uh, I was walking up some stairs and then I was reading a sign at the same time and just tripped and sprained my foot pretty bad. So I'm gonna be off it for at least a couple of days. So since I'm not out making deliveries and I'm stuck here at home, instead of all day watching Netflix, I figured I would make a video for you guys. So obviously the coronavirus pandemic has been a terrible worldwide phenomenon that has resulted in a huge amount of anguish and death and all kinds of horrible things for a lot of people. And I certainly would never intend to make light of it in any way. However, if you deliver for Uber Eats or another delivery service, you've probably noticed that things have actually gotten a little better for you during the pandemic, as long as, of course, you or none of your loved ones have gotten sick. So today, I'm going to make a video talking about the five best things that have happened to Uber Eats drivers during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, before I continue, I do just wanna preface again by saying in no way am I discounting the millions of people who've fallen ill from coronavirus, the hundreds of thousands of deaths we've seen worldwide from this horrible pandemic, nor the millions and millions of people here in the United States and abroad who have lost traditional jobs due to shutdowns and coronavirus related restrictions. So I definitely don't want to discount those things. I and my family have personally been heavily affected by job losses related to coronavirus. And this is one of the reasons that Uber Eats has become such a great pillar for us to lean on during this time. With that said, here are five ways in which coronavirus pandemic has actually made the jobs of Uber Eats drivers better. Let's get to it. Now, the most obvious way in which the coronavirus pandemic has actually made things better for Uber Eats and other delivery drivers is that all of these services are suddenly just way, way, busier, like busier than ever before. With Uber Eats, for example, there has been a surge cloud of at least a dollar to a dollar fifty over the entire central area of Dallas literally all day every day since the coronavirus pandemic began. And in the busiest times, such as dinner rushes and lunch rushes, almost every day that surge cloud will get up to anywhere from four to eight dollars stacked on top of every single order that you get. So it becomes very easy to rack up just base pay and surge without even adding tips into the equation. Now the reason for this is simple. It's because everybody was staying home. Most people's offices were closed. Uh, many restaurants went to to-go's only. So you had serving staff who was suddenly at home. Uh, you had millions of people's jobs who were affected by this, either by furlough or by having them work from home. This also meant that dining rooms for restaurants were closed in most major cities. Now, demand for that restaurant food is not gonna suddenly disappear. People still wanna eat tacos from their favorite taco spot or get their favorite Thai food. However, since they can't go eat at that place anymore, now suddenly there is a huge demand for delivery services. And all that extra business equals lots and lots of deliveries for drivers so that we stay constantly busy, we're earning surge pricing all the time, and we end up going home with bigger earnings than we typically would in normal times. Now, since there was so much surge pricing due to the increase in demand, that means that delivery fees went up. Now, you might think that would result in people tipping less in order to compensate for the increased delivery fee. However, due to the huge public attention push put on rewarding essential workers, you know, of course, like doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals, all those things, but also delivery drivers being included in a lot of the verbiage around that, we did see that tips did not go down, but in fact, they went way up. I can tell you over the last two and a half months since the coronavirus pandemic shutdowns happened, I have never gotten so many uh, 15, 20, $30 tips. No, it's not every single customer, but overall tips have been increasing and I've seen a huge spike in the number of people who are tipping those just very outlandish amounts, you know, 50% of their bill, 100% of their bill, sometimes more than that. So uh, tips have definitely increased for Uber Eats drivers during this time. So the next big way in which things have actually gotten better for Uber Eats drivers during the pandemic is that restaurant staff have gotten far, far friendlier, at least in my personal experience. In normal times, 
We are not exactly a popular crowd with bartenders and to-go people who end up packaging our orders and handing them to us. While many of them are perfectly fine and friendly, we often encounter many who are rude to us, who never smile at us, who will make us wait while they're helping other customers. And the whole reason behind this is because they know that when they see an Uber Eats driver or a DoorDash or Grubhub or Favor or any of these services, they know that they're not going to earn a tip out of their interaction with us. And that is because these services don't give the driver the option to tip the server or the bartender, which makes sense. They have an incentive to serve those customers who it's gonna be most lucrative for them to pay the most attention to. Oftentimes that means that we get treated a little rudely, a little shortly, and it's not always a pleasant experience interacting with bartenders and servers from some of these restaurants. However, since the coronavirus pandemic started, bartenders, servers, restaurant managers, to-go people, all of these employees of restaurants seem to have gotten far more friendly to us. And I think that's because their restaurants have taken such a huge hit. Many of their staff members have been furloughed. They've lost hours. They've lost people permanently. I think because of that, they feel a real sense of being in danger and they feel very thankful for any business that they do get. And so what I've noticed is that they tend to be a little friendlier to me and I try to be friendly to everyone when I interact with them anyway, it seems that that is being returned a bit more. And overall, it's almost created this weird sense of camaraderie, whereas before, I think they saw us as competitors at best and nuisances at worst. I think now they're appreciative that we are helping provide a service that enables them to sell more food than they otherwise would. So overall, restaurant delivery driver relations have gotten far better during the coronavirus pandemic. Another major way in which things have gotten better for delivery drivers, and I wanna give a huge shout out to restaurants who have been doing this during the coronavirus pandemic. They have set up tables and put signs on them that say Uber, DoorDash, Grubhub, Favor, etc. And then they will place the orders for pickup by the signs related to that particular service. So that when I walk in, I know I can just go, oh, I'm gonna go to the Uber table. There's John's gnocchi, chicken fried steak, Thai food, or whatever, boom. They don't even force you to interact with a to-go person. They are trusting the drivers to pick up the correct orders. And honestly, I have yet to encounter an issue in which an order that I was supposed to pick up was missing. So that tells me by and large, drivers are pretty darn honest and careful about making sure they're picking up the correct orders off of these tables. And it's super helpful and super quick to be able to just walk in, grab your order and go. So thank you very much to restaurants who have operated with this setup during the coronavirus pandemic. And that brings us to my very favorite one, which I'm sad to say has largely gone away since uh, workplaces have started to reopen, but it was nice while it lasted. For the first month and a half-ish of the coronavirus pandemic, there was no traffic on the road. It was a delivery driver's dream. Very few cars on the road. You could just pick up an order, go straight to your customer, zoom straight to your next restaurant, straight to your next delivery, straight to your next restaurant, straight to your next delivery. You did not have to deal with you know, huge lines of traffic in front of you. You didn't have to deal with car wrecks on the road. Everywhere you went on the highway, you could go speed limit or higher. Don't go higher than speed limit. It was a dream while it lasted. I know that's a sign of huge economic downturn and decline, and so I hesitate to celebrate it too much. However, other delivery drivers, you know it was awesome while it lasted. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me here while I'm stuck at home with a hurt foot. Please send me all your good vibes for a swift recovery. If you like this video, please give me a like down below. And if you wanna see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you new Uber Eats hustling videos on a regular basis. Thanks guys, see you next time.